Hello, everybody. Um, I am, uh, as you can see, uh, at the uh, Peter Street address. I had to go one more month at Peter Street. Just uh, uh, the tiny house is uh, going well. I actually took the first hot shower in the tiny house this week. Uh, so uh, the shower's working great. Uh, the the uh, tankless water heater is uh, works beautifully. Actually, a very good uh, uh, solution for uh, hot water. Um, everything is uh, framed up and uh, uh, and the trim is is uh, mostly done. Um, had a lot of rain uh, last week and um, the grass uh, took off and everything everything took off. So. Uh, uh, be careful what you wish for. You just might get it. And boy, have we been getting it. Um, actually, the uh, uh, mom's house was struck by lightning uh, one day. Uh, and it took a, uh, a light switch. Uh, it's a double light switch. And one of them was a rheostat. And it uh, knocked the button that uh, t turns the uh, uh, rheostat on all the way across the living room. Uh, or the den there. Uh, must have been 20 feet. Uh, no fire. Uh, it's uh, it's well grounded, but uh, it did uh, it did take a hit. Uh, but um, the vegetables are coming in. I've uh, gathered squash. Uh, squash gathering squash every day. Uh, cantaloupe are coming uh, are getting big. Um, cucumbers have eaten some cucumbers out of there. Uh, the green beans uh, are coming on. I've to pick some tomatoes, so um, it's beginning to produce. Uh, it's also um, the weed control has is, is, uh, become significant. So the garden has taken uh, more time. Uh, so the tiny house construction has suffered. But uh, everything is still moving forward uh, at a pretty good pace. Um, a lot of work. This is um, now that the vegetables are coming in um, and uh, we've gotten, had some rain and the other things uh, that, that takes to maintain uh, that uh, bigger place uh, becomes really more than a full-time job for one person. There's no question about that. So some things are beginning to suffer. Uh, but I will have the uh, tiny house uh, habitable. Um, I have the uh, kitchenette uh, scoped out and um, uh, but that will be that may that may have to as um, uh, I said earlier uh, in the earliest of these uh, that doesn't really need to get there until um, you know, fall, uh, the winter time, so that I cook inside, I can, I can do other things, um, but um, that does need to, to be done. Um, so that's, a, that's about it. Um, Hank continues to get better. Uh, he's almost, I think he's completely healed from his, from his, from his uh, uh, foot injury. Uh, and um, uh, other things around the farm are, 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 are taking off, and, and uh, it really looked good. It really looked good. The, uh, the pastures have greened up and, and uh, are producing. I had a return of a brown top millet. I put it in last year. Some friends of mine wanted to do some dove hunting there, and we just wanted to see how, how many dove we could bring in over a field, a small field. So I planted some brown top millet and, and put, you know, some, uh, you know, properly uh, put the seed on the ground to bring the dove in, and, and everything was according to the rules. And we had a, a fairly good dove shoot. It was not, it was not great. But it was uh, uh, no, they didn't bag their limits, everybody. But you can pay and go to one of these pay fields and 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 not not bag your limit. So uh, everybody was happy. We had a good shot. But anyway, all of that millet, I didn't plow it under. I just cut it, and uh, it didn't come back up in the spring. But then all of a sudden, we got all this rain, and it jumped out of the ground. And now I have this huge stand of millet, and I'm looking at it, going, "Well, you know, I really don't have time to cut it, or I could cut it just like when I cut the rest of the grass. But I can let it grow." And let it come to seed, and then and then prepare it for dove. Uh, I, I probably won't shoot them. I'll just love to come watch them feed. Uh, but if somebody wants to hunt it on the first day, I, you know, I'll let them hunt it. But uh, uh, to watch these dove come in and, and the way they feed, and, and they will come in in droves uh, on this brown top millet. So it's uh, it's like having a huge bird feeder, and to watch them they, they feed in the morning and in the evening, and uh, to watch them kind of sit sit on a chair and watch them come in and. And uh, there'll be so many on the ground sometimes it looks like the ground is moving. So uh, it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. But anyway, um, that's about it. Um, uh, everything's going well. Um, uh, still, uh, uh, I, I would rather, I, I'm, I'm, I have not done as much production of fuels as I, as I would like, but there's been so many other things going on. And the fuel production is really a fall type of thing. That's, that's almost a, 
a harvest and into the winter type of thing. So that you bring in the feedstocks, you ferment, then you distill, and then you have your fuel for the next next season. So I'm really not in the season for any of the fuel production other than than solar and, uh, and, and, and those types of things. So really to have those systems up and going, uh, if I get those up and going by frost, then then I'm in good shape. Right now it's time to grow, not to not to produce not, or to process. So having really nothing to process. So um, it, it's, uh, it's, it, it's, it's exciting seeing that coming up. Uh, it's also uh, imperative that I, that I get started and get that thing done. So um, this may be, I don't know, I may have one or, more two, one or two more from Peter Street, but uh, uh, I have given notice that I will be leaving at the end of July. And uh, ready or not, the tiny house is going to be inhabited. But it'll be ready. So looking forward to it. Okay. We'll see y'all later. It's Friday morning. So this will be the uh, Friday morning update. And uh, I'll give you a little updates uh, during the week. And, uh, and uh, hopefully this time next week you'll see a uh, habitable uh, tiny house and uh, some videos of uh, harvested uh, vegetables and, and produce. So looking forward to it. All right. Y'all have a wonderful day. See you later. Bye.